As 2023 comes to an end, so does our temperature blanket crochet along project. Each month, we've explored a brand new crochet stitch to add to our project, while also capturing the temperature range for our location. Now it's time for the perfect finishing touch, a half double crochet blanket border. This simple and elegant border will frame our blanket, allowing the main stitches to really shine. For materials, select one of the colors that was incorporated in the main body of your blanket. That way the border will jive well and make sense with what's going on. I like to start my border with a couple rounds of the same solid color to really frame off the project. And then I bring in some of the other scrap yarn that was left over from the project to give it a little extra character. I think it looks really neat. All right, so when it comes to how big to make your border, that's completely up to you. I only went one, two, three, four, five rounds around my blanket, but feel free to make your border as thick or wide or narrow as you prefer. As to the amount of yarn that you will need for your border, I have no idea because everybody's blanket is a little bit different and everybody wants a border that's in varying sizes. So I would start with one solid color, maybe two skeins of that one solid color because this blanket is so large. And then after that, incorporate scraps like I did for adding any additional length to the border that you're looking for. Now, if the sides of your blanket need a little extra help getting straight, consider blocking your project. You don't have to block the entire blanket. We only need to focus on the sides. What I did is I took the side of my blanket and I dipped it in water six inches and in inward, and then I pinned it down to my mats. I think I had a one by seven long strip of mats that I put underneath just the one side of my blanket, pinned everything down and waited for it to dry before I moved to the other side of my blanket and did the same thing. We just need to manipulate the stitches just enough to straighten everything out so we are ready to add the border. All right, let's get started. For our blanket border, go ahead and grab your yarn that you plan on using and your crochet hook, the same crochet hook you used to work the inner body of the project. Create a slip knot attach your crochet hook, and slip stitch in the upper corner stitch of your blanket. That will attach the yarn to the project. Chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch that you just slip stitched into. Now for the border, we are going to make one half double crochet stitch in every stitch all the way around the project. And in every corner, we are going to make a half double crochet chain three, half double crochet stitch. This is going to smoothly transition us to the next side of the blanket. Working the sides of a blanket are the most daunting part because people often are unsure where to place their crochet hook for their stitches. Remember this rule of thumb. If your row begins or ends with a single crochet or half double crochet, you will make one stitch in the side of that row. If your row begins or ends with a double crochet, a chain two, or a chain three, we will make two stitches in the side of that row. Now we have 12 different stitches working up in our blanket. So if it'll help you out, lay your blanket flat, spread it out with your hands if you have to so you can see each and every row to identify, oh, that row began or ended with a single crochet or a half double crochet. If it did, I need to make one half double crochet stitch in the side of that row. If the stitch, like these bead stitches or the bobbles or even these puff stitches over here where they began or ended with that extra chain and the double crochets, then we're going to want to make two half double crochet stitches in the side of those rows, okay? And depending on how many of those rows you added to your blanket, just follow it along. Have the blanket laying flat and check your work periodically. If your blanket, however, on the sides, it's starting to ripple, it means you're adding too many stitches on the side and you need to back it up and double check your work. If your work is starting to pull inward, it means you're not adding enough stitches in the side of your rows and is causing too much gap between your stitches and they're wanting to collapse inward on each other and pull the stitches together. So just again, lay your blanket down, make sure everything's laying flat. If it's warping 
curling, or if it's starting to cave in, know that you need to make an adjustment. All right, both sides of the blanket are gonna be worked the exact same way, so whatever you do to the one side, make sure you do to the other side. Again, one half double crochet stitch in every stitch on the top and the bottom, and all the corners are gonna be worked half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet. The only thing that is going to change on this entire blanket is corner number four. To close round one of corner number four, we are going to end by making a half double crochet and chain three in that last stitch space. Because there's already a half double crochet in that very first stitch, we're just going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet stitch to close round one. Round two of our blanket border. We start by chaining one, make one half double crochet stitch in every stitch all the way across the top of the blanket. In the corner, chain three. In that chain three, you are going to make a half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet stitch. Again, smoothly transitioning to the next side of the blanket. Every row or round of your border now is going to be so much easier now that you've established that foundation row down the side of your blanket because now you have actual stitches to work off of. Working down the side of your blanket, just make one half double crochet stitch in every stitch all the way down. Again, every corner is going to be a half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet in that chain three space and working that one half double crochet stitch in every stitch. Corner four for round two. We're gonna close round two by making a half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet in that chain three space, and then slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet stitch. What you're gonna find is every round is going to be identical to round two, worked up the exact same way. We start with a chain one, making one half double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around, and every corner, in the chain three is going to be a half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet. The only thing that's ever gonna change is corner number four. In corner number four, we are always going to add one extra stitch between the corner and where we slip stitch to close as we grow every row. So for example, corner four for round three, the corner is gonna be a half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet, and then we're gonna actually make one full half double crochet stitch before we slip stitch to close. I will have a whole diagram sharing with you what corner number four will look like working up so many rounds. So that way you get the idea and the feel of what to expect and what to look for. So that way your corner four will match up with every single corner of your blanket. All right guys, check out our finished project. Temperature Blanket 2023. Oh my gosh, it's humongous! Even after trying to control the length of our blanket, I think this did hit right at seven feet. I am so happy with it. It looks so good. And this blanket border was perfect. It was exactly what this blanket needed where it just frames the stitches perfectly, doesn't compete with anything, and gives it that finishing touch that we need for our blanket. Now, if your blanket, the sides of it just, there was no amount of blocking that you could do to straighten those things out. I understand, I know quite a few of you that voiced this concern to me. Don't worry, I have a very special video coming out soon just for you. I'm calling it the blanket cover-up border where you don't have to worry about if your sides are straight. It'll just wrap around the sides so you can focus on all of the work you did on the inner body of the blanket and not have to worry about it. Thank you so much for joining me in this temperature blanket sampler blanket project for 2023. I hope you love your blanket. I hope you had so much fun and that you learned something new. And if you have any questions at all, please make sure you leave your questions in the comment section below and I'll get to those questions as soon as I possibly can. Share pictures of your blanket on social media so that way I can see them and tag me at crochet with Tiffany or hashtag crochet with Tiffany so that way I can get the notification and I can see your project. I would be thrilled to see what colors you worked with and how your blanket turned out. Again, thank you so much for joining me this year in this massive project. I hope you had fun. I 
I had a blast and I am very excited for what we are able to create again together in the new year. I'll see you soon.